everyone and welcome back. Today we are watching Beverly Hills Cop 2, the sequel to Beverly Hills Cop 1. In case you didn't know. <laughs> One fun thing that we learned about, at least the first movie yes. in the last reaction, is that the movie was originally supposed to star none other than Sylvester Stallone. Wow. But he kind of wanted to do some different things with the script <laughs> yes. and went off on his own and that's how we got Cobra. An 80s masterpiece. <laughs> One of my favorite Stallone action films. I'll kill her! I'll blow this whole place up! Go ahead. I don't shock her. But I think it was for the right reasons. It'd be hard to imagine Stallone putting a banana in a tailpipe. <laughs> so I think the, the people got it right with that one. Yeah, so we had no idea about that. So it was a bit of serendipity, I exactly. guess, that we had this poster of. <laughs> Today we are watching the sequel, which yes. promises more laughs. The description for it called it sizzling. So that should be pretty cool. And I think some of the comments men mentioned that Billy gets more of the limelight in this one, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. So I think we're ready to dive in. Yes. Let's do it. Ooh. Already starting Already. off strong. The vibes. They are back. Ooh. Oh, give Ooh. me the sense. I wasn't expecting that. Beverly Hills, California. It's very orange. All right, who's this sleazy bastard? Oh my gosh, the sense are alive and well. Ooh, oh, sh it's uh, Brigitte Nielsen. Speaking of Stallone, former ex-wife right there. Oh. Oh, and she's got a gun. Do exactly as they say. Nobody move. You lost your now. Oh. Eat the floor. No. Eat, I've never heard that before. Eat the floor. Eat the floor. They're quick, they're efficient, and deadly. And also fashionable, I might, I might add. Stay down. <laughs> You're making a mess. I know. <gasps> she has a calling card? Wow. Sick. What a action-packed start. Back in good old Detroit. <laughs> Fish. Oh, no, you can't just give your fish bread. Oh, that's a snazzy suit. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's ranked up or something. Yeah. <laughs> it took a little uh, Beverly Hills to Detroit with yeah. this suit. New car. Oh, okay. hell yeah. Oh my god. This looks like a Ferrari. Oh yeah. A Ferrari in Detroit just like stands out so much. Damn, he must have got a, a pay raise. I guess so. So you're telling me he has all, he has all this and he couldn't afford to give his fish a better meal than right. white bread? I know, it's like his apartment's still kind of a wreck, but <laughs> he spent all of his money on the car and suit. Just about the time to think it, it's all right. I need some more credit cards. Why? I need a lot this time. I need 2,000 this time. Get the fuck out of here. You can't handle it? This reminds me a lot of the beginning of the first movie. Yeah. So do you think it's all just part of his cover? Maybe. Yeah. Hey, look, man, I'm a businessman, okay? I gotta make moves. I'm moving, Cassidy. Three you know? hours. I'm moving. You meet me at this address. Three hours. So I hate to bother you. Look, Get I, away from me. I hey, have one question. I gotta go. Oh, it's the chief. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some short shorts. Wow. <laughs> Looks like he's being watched. Uh, Detective Axel Foley, please. You has reached the home of George Kingfish Stevens. I'm sorry I'm not here now. Axel, it's Bogomil. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna have to cancel out on the fishing trip. Oh, oh. man, I'm gonna teach y'all how to fish too. But that's okay, because I'm up to my ass in undercover on this credit card fake. So how's your daughter, Jan? Now look, I'm into something kind of important here. I'll fill you in as soon as I get it straight myself. Punch Rosewood in his eye and slap tag it in his bald ass headphone. <laughs> I'll call you in a week. Oh, I hope something bad doesn't happen to him. I know. He's gonna get in too deep. Yeah. What do you mean she doesn't want to see me? She doesn't like me. She doesn't want to meet you. She doesn't know me. What did you tell her? I described you to her. <laughs> Why? I help you out. When Todd asks me what you're doing, I say, I don't know. He's working 24 hours a day. Well, if Marcy doesn't want to give me a number, I'll tell you what, I'll give you my number. You just pass it on to her. You want to work undercover? Yes. Okay, listen. When Todd comes and says, where am I at? Tell him I'm out pursuing my credit card bust, all right? 
knew exactly how long to stay inside and what to take. I have this friend. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you involved with this case? Bogomil, get your men in here. Come on. He's fired every cop who worked for the old chief. The three of us are all in select. Things are a little rough over here. We're not even supposed to be working on this case. Now you have domestic troubles. But you gotta cool out. Relax. Take a chill pill. You moron. You called the supervising agent of the goddamn FBI to help break this alphabet code? My men will solve it. Locally, Rosewee. This alphabet investigation was your baby. Did you call the goddamn FBI? Captain Bogomel didn't know anything about it. I'm I said there. shut up! No, sir, but that's beside the point. Your history, kiddo. <sighs> They get a gut reaction to something they go with standing behind Rosewood on this. As of this moment, you are suspended. Wow. Suspended. What grounds? You have no knowledge of nor control over your own troops' activities. I will not have this investigation pissed away. Could be a, a political disaster for the mayor right here. I'm fighting you on this, Harold. Chief Lutz to you. Nah, you're just Harold, bro. Now, would you two boys like to hold on to your jobs just a little while longer? You report to traffic duty effective immediately. Traffic duty. Whoa, a rough start for them. Yeah. Mm. He is being followed. Is that her? Oh, does she have different hairstyles? Oh no. Yeah, it just stopped. Is it getting gas? Oh no. Con card. What do you make of this, Andrew? No. That's a hit! No! Oh. No! Away. Oh. Bogomil! This is a terrible start to the movie. Our hunch was right. Damn it. Vinny! Police Captain Andrew Bogomil has been gunned down in broad daylight. Oh. Captain Bogomil is alive, though he Oh, he's alive? How? Let's go, Bogomil! <laughs> Yeah, this is Detective Axel Foley of the Detroit Police Department. Can somebody patch me into the, into the hospital at Bogomil's in? It's Jan. I just found out what I'm sorry, what happened? It's gonna be okay. Axel, this guy really nailed him. Alphabet bandit. Well, are you on the case? Who's on the case? I don't think they're gonna let me and Taggart on it. Yeah, I'll be on in a minute. Take care, Jan, all right? You're the fucking guy with the truckload of cigarettes that day. No way. I thought that was you, man! <laughs> you almost got busted! I did get busted! You come inside a half hour late, and on top of all that, you're gonna bring the goddamn cop! He ain't no cop! That's Dirty Harry himself! <laughs> he ain't no cop, he's my nephew! Well, the dude is definitely bad luck! I don't know what he is to you, he's bad luck to me! And I'm checking you for a wire, man! You ain't no cop! Fucking oh, oh, why can't I check you if he ain't a cop? Oh, oh, if he... <laughs> I have the money and I do want to do business, but with you, I ain't doing nothing in front of this dude because this dude is a hey, 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 hey! Oh my god. Chaotic as ever. And we're back. Can I count on you? And I can trust you. Yes. I need you to drive the Ferrari for a couple of days. Going out of town for a couple of days, and I need you. <laughs> Drive it where? Just drive it around, but nobody can know it's you. Scoot you down inside the car oh and you drive gosh. like this. Drive yeah. it. No one can know it's you. Drive Marcy in the car. You can drive my She's supposed to hang out with me this week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is one that's gonna make me top of the month, and I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna be there smiling Beautiful. together. <laughs> this guy is way too gullible. Yeah. Inspector T, how you doing? Oh. Where the fuck you been, Foley? <laughs> You need a thousand dollars for flash money. Flash money. Well, let's see here. Two thousand dollars for a suit, a requisition order for a Ferrari. We're not gonna see some arrest slips. I'm so close now. I'm closer than I've been. I sm Do you smell it? Cause I smell it. All I smell is your bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna give you three days. If I don't see some results by then, I'm gonna cover my oh own. Oh my gosh. I'm going deep, 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 deep undercover. If I don't see some results by then, I'm gonna grind your ass in the dog meat. Just make sure nothing happens to that Ferrari. Oh no. No one else will be in the car but me. 24 hours of that will be in the car. I will sleep, eat, drink, shit. I wish, no, I ain't gonna shit. <laughs> you thought I was gonna shit. I wouldn't, well, well, I look like shit in the car. What the hell are you doing here? I came as soon as I heard. How's he doing? He's got a chance. Look, I gotta see those letters that the guy left. We gotta be careful. Lutz is just looking for a reason to bust our asses. I used to get shot like this all the time back in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> He was talking about going fishing until yesterday. He seemed preoccupied. After I get settled and look around his office a little bit, okay? Won't change my mind. I'm on my way. 
So do you think he like figured something out? I, I wonder why they yeah, went after him. Right, he, I feel like he was getting too close to something. Remember, he was running in that area, and he was like, "Oh yeah, what was that all about?" Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What you thinking? I think he just got an idea. We're the owners of this house. They haven't taken possession yet. They're in Hawaii for a week. So it's empty. Let's see how he can talk his way into this one. Yeah. I'm Axel Foley, Beverly Hills Billy Inspector. Everybody stop what you're doing. You're the foreman? Yeah. Well, I need to see the plans then for this house because you're making a very big fucking mistake. These are wrong. What do you mean? These are the wrong plans. Why? These are the old plans. What are you talking Weren't about? Weren't you at the meeting? No. What did the end <laughs> before they went up to Hawaii? No. They changed the plans. Oh, man. The plans have been changed. Right, we have to change this thing's round as a donut. What are you, a fucking art critic? <laughs> Some people say, I want to live in a round house. Very you got right. the money for it? Fuck it. You got the week off, and we'll straighten this whole thing out. Just leave it in my hand. Give your boys a big round of applause, because they did. you have done a good job. If you stop worrying and go home, trust me. Somebody clean some of this shit up before you leave, though. <laughs> he has this nice big house all yeah. to himself. Wow. Jail case was left over from the first robbery of Adriana's. He's a 44 Automax. They don't even make these anymore. They're too expensive. Shit. Just step away. Uh oh. Uh oh, Lutz. Johnny Wish Wishbone. Johnny Wishbone and I'm a psychic from the island of St. Croix. Yes, I'm a psychic from the island of St. Croix. So what I did was come to Beverly Hills to help the police out. They tell me they don't want my help. They don't need my help. I don't know who you are, but watch this. Um, Lutz, right? Chief Lutz, <laughs> that's your name, see? The name pop inside my head. Like Riddle? Riddle, yes, see? Uh, you give two more seconds, I would say to myself, I don't need no help from no one because I'm Johnny Wishbone, psychic extraordinaire. <laughs> if you need me, just think Johnny Wishbone, lots and biddle. It's like kibbles and bits. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is Johnson, right? <laughs> Johnny Wishbone. I guess it worked out. <laughs> Axel's got nine lives, I don't. <laughs> you boys ready? Let's go. We gotta do this, the three of us. All for one, one for all. I'll lose my pension, my medical. I got a wife and two kids to feed, Axel. You got two kids, not a wife and two kids. Shut up, Billy. She might come back. <laughs> Man put his neck on the line for me. I'm not gonna just go back to Detroit without help. And what's shocking me is that his boys don't even have any loyalty for him. Don't give me this crap about loyalty, though. Andy and I joined the force together. Okay, okay. A broken mill. Where'd you get that? Shit, Axel, you've stolen evidence. We'll show it around and see who recognizes Great. Who are the two or three guys? Fuck you asking me for? This is your town. <laughs> There's a guy at the Beverly Hills Shooting Club, uh, Russ Fielding, I think his name is. Ooh. I feel like they're making it more, even yeah. more. Yeah. More synthy. What's in the bag? My vitamins. You want my vitamins? Give them to me. You want all my vitamins? Yes. What's he up to now? What year is this? 73. Yes, it is a 73. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Metalux. Explosive research company. You have a Russell, Russell Fielding working here? Yes. He ordered these plutonium nitrate, multi explosive. <laughs> They're in a brown what? paper bag. <laughs> yeah, I think there must be some mistake. This is the sound you can project out. I suggest you don't use the telephone, you don't sneeze, you what? don't cough, you don't do anything. And if you have to break wind, maybe one little quiet, sneaky one. You could do me a big favor and just drop this off at Mr. Fielding's wow. office on your way out. I carry from A to B. I have nothing to do with C, okay? I have a wife and two kids, and I'd like to see my <laughs> twin daughters, Monique and Unique, again. Monique it's, very... it's just right on your way out. What do you, what do you want? What's in it for me? I'm risking my life. What's in it for me? Wow. $10? Oh, I have twin daughters. Read the name on the office. It's just right on your way. I'm just doing this for my kids. <laughs> Whoa. We almost got fucked up. <laughs> Shoe money for my daughters. Wow. He's getting more creative with his uh, yeah, storylines. Yeah. It's actually her fault for thinking you'd change. Thanks. You really have to admire her for having the courage to leave you. <laughs> oh my god. Just <laughs> trying to make you feel better. Oh, his vitamins. Aww. <laughs> On the drain. Are you Russ Fielding, the gunsmith? Yeah. Have you ever seen one of these before? It's a 308 rifle shot, cut to fit the 44 Magnum automatic. Hi, I'm Carla Fry, assistant manager. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> I made it. 
whole bunch just like it for Mr. Kane. I think we have a problem. Fielding says he's made that casing for Kane. I'd like to go over plan C and D. We have promised to deliver Thermopolis $10 million. If we fail, I stand to be put to considerable expense and inconvenience, to say the least. So I'd like to go over it. Adriano's was perfect. Adriano's was not perfect. It was perfectly planned, but it was executed with Neolithic incompetence. I, for some reason, assumed that if my instructions were clear enough, even you could follow them. Wow. You supplied your facts on the Adriana's job with guns from my club. And nobody knows that you planned the jobs. Nobody knows that you wrote the alphabet notes. Carla did the job and left the notes. Why is there a man in my club with shell casings from one of my guns? I'd say he's a cop. Take a good look at him. Because you're going to kill him. Chip Kane, I'm the manager here. Uh, maybe you'd like to have a guest membership. Where could I send you an application? 1603 Hillcrest. Goodbye, Mr. James. That was a hand cannon she has. <laughs> Richard James, 1603 Hillcrest Road. You got a match? Yeah, you're keeping it. Great. Don't screw this up. They're gonna screw it up. These are the same guys with that, I think, I think that shot, rope mill. Here's the impending alphabet note. Will they be able to break this one? They'll uh, crack it when we want them to. What would you guys say if I told you it was a six foot blonde working here? Witnesses reported a six foot blonde at the Adriana's robbery. Why don't you meet me at my house at 1603 Hillcrest in about an hour, okay? Where are my vitamins? Long on. Here's $20. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, I think it's a, a Boga Mills. Freeze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you still work at that insurance company? Yeah, I found a lot of newspaper cutouts about oil prices drop. That's him, isn't it? Dent. Father got shot because he was on to something, but I can't figure out what it was. Use your connections at this insurance company to find out everything you can find out about a guy named Maxwell Dent. The dirt. The dirt. It's gotta be a mistake. There's his car. Axel. Axel. You just chilling? <laughs> hey! I got Watch out. The deck is very slick. What I'm trying to do, though, is just confine myself to the other five bedrooms. You stole in this house. How the fuck can you steal a house? <laughs> You're gonna get a solid deep shit. Well, I love when you talk to <laughs> Axel, get out of the goddamn pool! <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, he looks happy. <laughs> Oh no, they're on their tail. <laughs> Whoa! Go right in, Mr. President. Go in, right in there, relax. That's former President Gerald Ford there. <laughs> he came here tonight because he couldn't get out when he was running the country. I said, well, let's go, get Secret Service man. That's who that's with him. And we came down to party in 385 North. It's our pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. <laughs> What is that, a haircut? Terrible. Oh my gosh. Nick Thermopolis, he owns this place. Thermopolis. Okay. So that's who they're giving the money to? Probably be directing traffic the rest of our lives anyway. The hell with it. Yeah. 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 Welcome. Welcome, Bill. He's John, the house president board. <laughs> my name's John Taggart. Well, that's just the name he's using now. Well, you're much better looking at first. <laughs> <laughs> Does the name Thermopolis mean anything to you guys? Yeah, he's the biggest arms dealer on the West Coast. Do I really look like Gerald Ford? <laughs> You'll both look like Gerald Ford. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never believe who I saw at the club today. <laughs> Gerald Ford. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! Ah! What a flip! Ooh. Man, they're still going? Yeah. Oh my, oh. what a freaking mess. They got out? Uh. Are you in there? What the fuck is going on here? Yes, that's right. I knew they were placing too much emphasis on that. I checked with immigration. They never heard of a Johnny Wishbone. I want to know who the hell you are and what the hell you're doing here, right now. I'm attached to a, a multi-jurisdictional federal task force on organized crime. Code name is Wishbone. If there is a federal task force, I want to know about it. Well, what you can do, sir, is you can call back to Detroit tomorrow and ask for an inspector, Ty, and he'll tell you all about... My real name is Axel Foley. Call there between the hours of 9 
10. What the hell are you two doing here, huh? We're off duty, sir. I just live right nearby. If I catch either one of you doing anything except traffic duty, I'm gonna have the both the investigated and suspended. <laughs> they they like... don't seem too bothered. Yeah. They're just like, you know what? Yeah. It is what it is. You sure you got super glue in this house, Rosewood? Yeah. Damn. Look at all those plants. Yeah. This is Wild Kingdom. I like Trying it. Trying to create a stress-free environment. <laughs> well, you yeah. have. Rambo. Rambo. They actually like different kinds of music. If I play the Beatles, the begonias perk up. Who's this? Oh. Big Al. What kind of music does he like? James Brown drives him nuts. I'm curious to know where 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 his dick is at. You know where your dick is, don't you, Big Al? <laughs> but do turtles have dicks? Hey, yeah, Billy's really out there, isn't he, Axel? Yeah, Billy's pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I knew you heard. I was just joking. Dating game. Yeah. Now let's give Billy a big dating game kiss. Okay, Billy. Oh shit! Oh my gosh! Axel, it's one o'clock in the morning. How's the Ferrari? Ferrari's great. What a great car. It's something you don't want to do, but you got to do it. Very simple. What happens is the fumes from the super glue attaches itself to the acid from the fingerprints. Now all we have to do is match it. You could use the computer downtown. I wonder if Jeffrey's going to pose as Todd. I feel like he's got to. You boys definitely get an A in high tech, Troy. <laughs> Used to be Charles Campus. He works in the Beverly Hills Gun Club. This is not a master criminal at all. We need something else. What are we gonna do now? Let's go to the gun club. Oh, this is a big mistake, a big mistake. I'll go. See, would you lighten up and take some risks? Okay, let's go. No arm tape. That weighs around a lot. If we open this door now, the next we're gonna break between the magnets. So you just foil, and you squeeze it between the two magnets. Gum to hold them in place. Now, the magnets have the illusion that the connection's never been broken. Open the door without <laughs> Look at that. Impressive. Fractured a law too when I was a kid. My last one. Spotted. <laughs> Love for you. Give me some light over here. Ooh, a locked drawer. That's where they hide the important things. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh no. Oh shit. He just has it on him? On protection. Billy, we gotta talk. <laughs> Billy's getting a little unhinged. That coordinates. Oh no. Are there multiple women in yeah, there? Oh my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> we just parted all night. Hello. Yes, is this Inspector Todd of the Detroit Police Department? My name is Lionel Hand. I'm with the FBI Enforcement Bullet. Now, I realize this is short notice, but I was wondering if you could possibly meet me this morning for breakfast. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. So he, he'll just be out of the office when the call comes? Yeah. <laughs> What? Yeah, cool. So then he can come in and pose as Todd. Wow, this is risky. It is. All right, goddamn. He got back so quick. Please, please, don't confuse me while I'm dialing. All right. Yeah, this is Todd. Inspector Todd. This is uh, Harold Lutz. I'm the chief of the Beverly Hills Police Department. Do you have an officer working? Command by the name of Axel Foley. Yes, I do. He's under my command, but he's assigned to some goddamn multi-jurisdictional uh, federal task force on all. It's a real pain in the ass. Man. I cannot control the son of a bitch. What the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> this is not my office. You damn right it isn't. I can't believe they got away with that. I know. City deposit. What city deposit? It's a federal uh, reserve bank. Unit 22 assist. City deposit 341 Gregory. Oh! They're breaking right in. Yeah. Whoa. Three minutes. You got worse than Maureen. No way. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Damn, Billy! <laughs> They're not gonna make it in time. I don't know if they will. 
What's that for? Figured I needed more firepower. Yo, man, we got a tough seat. Dirty Rosewood. Tell your alarm, you got to break it. I need authorization. What are you doing? Really? What? That's what he got? <laughs> what? Oh shit, damn! It's all I can find! Yeah, I was gonna say, where'd Tiger go? Here I go again! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Billy! It's okay, I know the guy! He's a jerk! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Billy is going off! Okay. Uh, he looks insane. I know. <laughs> no way, they found it? Now what? This was the pickup vehicle. Sarge? Billy, isn't this, uh. Yeah. No! The Playboy Mansion? What? I get twenty dollars for limo. What the <laughs> hell is this? There's fifty dollars. Put it next to the limo. Your name, sir? Uh, I'm the pool cleaner. Uh, darling, the pool's been cleaned yesterday. Somebody made a mistake in the pool. I'd like to go clean the pool, please. You want me to spell it out? It's something floating in the pool. <laughs> what? Somebody got drunk and shit in the pool. Okay, I'm here to clean the shit up. Oh, these guys here—they with the board of hell. They here to make sure I do the job thoroughly. Jesus Christ! Wake up! This is what we always talked about. So look alive, you may never see it again. <laughs> My party's like this. <laughs> if I die sometime, might as well be here. That looks like the girl from the gun club. Who, the one with the, the mob? You're all the there. Big Mac! How'd you get in here? I don't know who this person is, but he's annoying us. Let's see your invitation, please. Are we having a problem here? You have to. You have to! After Foley! <laughs> you know how many times I've put your magazine up and forget about it. <laughs> he's into guns and drugs, you have to. And Max! Kills cops for a living! I think it's time that uh, all of you left. Party's over! Max fucked it up for everybody, so let's just go home! <laughs> we'll go ahead as planned. Get Kane to prepare you. Pick Dent's pocket? Who? Oh. This is Dent's accountant, Sidney Bernstein. Anything that Dent's into, he's gonna have a record of it. <laughs> what about the cement truck? Yeah. And what about that goddamn cement truck? <laughs> Huh? What about that, Rosewood? I think the cement truck was a tactical decoy. Have you submitted yourself for drug testing yet? Did you call Inspector Todd back in Detroit for me? He doesn't like you very much. Yes, sir, I've never heard such inexcusable abuse that the robbery was foiled and the money was saved. I understand him. No, if I were you, I would you. concentrate everything I've got on cracking this code and determining where the E-crime will be. Ooh. So are they planning on like going all the way through the alphabet or what? Maybe. Because that's a lot. Get out of here, you degenerate. You're not even part of this department. And weren't you supposed to leave for Detroit, Axel? Yeah, today at noon. You're gonna get fired. Look, started this together, we're gonna finish together, right? Now check this thing out and see if Cindy Bernstein owns a car. Don't let the fact that my door's closed <laughs> dissuade you in any way from entering my office. Well, sir, you have 25 unpaid parking tickets. We have a warrant for your arrest. Do you own a black Mercedes-Benz license plate number CRL 507? 507? That's my wife's car. That's not my car. That's my... 25 unpaid yeah, parking I mean, tickets. It's under my name, but it's my wife's car. No, 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 bitch! Is there something that I have that I could hand to you? What are you trying to say, sir? I like you'd be holding something in that hand, <laughs> and this hand you'd forget about. This hand you'd be concentrating on. That hand you'd go, what? What did I have there? I don't even remember. Two hundred dollars in his hand. Ouch! Let go of my arm. They're real crisp. Well, now that you think yes. about this, Mr. Burns. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use your uh, computer. No problem. No problem oh. at all. Yeah, yeah it's was... secret. It's like a James Bond thing. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Leave when I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> a bit better than the 20 bucks he got earlier. Yeah. Dent. Costa Rica? Oh. Jen, Axel, how you doing? Hi, Axel. So I checked our foreign office in London and found out something very interesting. Dent was the cultural attache to the East German Embassy in Honduras. He's got a racetrack, shooting club, an oil company. 
oil company. Several. That's his biggest business. He's let his insurance lapse on everything in the last six months. Even the shooting club. All his businesses. Except one. The racetrack. Empyrean Field. Is that where... Oh, the E. When your father wakes up... He's getting better. He's up and around. Good. Okay. Tell him you found his man. Is that Billy again? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> He's not gonna rip off his own racetrack. He would if he wasn't sure. Dent's visa application to Costa Rica had today's date on it. If we don't step on it, I think he's out of here. I don't know what happened on the city deposit, Max. And the Foley hit? That's why I need you to go along personally. I broke it! You broke it, you son of a bitch. Chinging Superco San Carlos. Screw you cops, San Carlos. Charles King. Carlos is uh, Spanish for Charles. Whoever did this one, the cops to figure it out. Here we go. Mm. Chris, God damn it! Because he screwed up. Cold blooded. Yeah. Radar right, almost didn't come in. Kane's did. Police officer! Police! They were really behind. Right. We have identified the alphabet bandit. The man was shot dead at the scene this morning by security guard Jack Stiles. We personally, my own computer team, personally cracked the alphabet bandit's code. Carlos. Carlos, which as you all know, is Spanish for Charles. If Kane's the man, where's the money? Where's Dan? Hey, where'd you get that? What? How old the mud get on the horse? It was grazy, in the pasture, dense oil field. See, Bogan had that red mud all over his sneakers. My hunch is that somebody gave him a tip and he came up here to check it out, and that's when they tried to waste it. So what he does is he hides some bank, hides some jewelry, then he throws this easy code at the cops and puts Kane's name on it. When he's buying guns from Thermopolis, he'll probably sell them to his contact or something shit like that in Central America. Then could buy guns up here for a million bucks and sell them down there for 10 million. <laughs> I've been wanting to wear this for a while, Sarge. Jesus Christ, Billy, we gotta talk. <laughs> Billy, what have you become? Damn! <laughs> the first movie really changed him. Honestly, he was always like this. He just needed Maybe. a little push. Yes. Welcome to was here. You like rap music? Yeah, I like rap music. You like rap music? If you like rap music so much, how come you ain't smiling? Fine, then let's do a rap together. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo! Ow! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Billy's gonna have a field day. Man, what did he do? <laughs> Not yet. He's a gun maniac. <laughs> oh, the same thing. What if, it, what if it doesn't work? I know. Self-explanatory. they will make your life a lot easier. Require your signature. With all the ideas you've had, this is the worst. <gasps> Oh no. Well, it oh. worked in some way. Ah! Here we go. <laughs> Well, that was really lucky. <laughs> Fuck Rambo. <laughs> Cover me. Go, Axel! <laughs> nice. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough, Billy. Wow. Mr. Foley. This is creepy. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Nice. Quick thinking. Headshot and everything. <laughs> it just explodes. Love it. Goodbye, Mr. Foley. Oh! Taggart! Oh, Taggart! Come on, let's go. 
Now to explain everything. <laughs> Look at him. Like dang coat. What took you guys so long? <laughs> <laughs> you got that southern accent now too? Looks like a goddamn war zone. We solved the alphabet crimes. You shut up! Who the hell is talking to you? I don't give a goddamn what federal agency you say you're working for. You're in jail, buddy. No, goddammit, you shut up! Yeah. This is what the alphabet crimes are all about. Guns. Guns? That guy sold them and then bought them with stolen money from Adriano's and his own racetrack. And if you'd bother to take your head out of your ass, <laughs> you'd see we'd stop the whole goddamn thing! Why didn't I know about this? Oh, ho, ho. Because Chief Lux doesn't have the guts to hear the truth. Haggard, you're fired! Yeah? Kiss my ass! Kiss my ass! <laughs> <laughs> you are fired. Do you understand oh. that? Don't overreact, kid, please. You'll regret you. this. You're out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to kick your ass later. <laughs> I've got to go to a charity meeting, Food for the Homeless for Beverly Hills. Oh, but tomorrow Food for the Homeless. I'd like to make a donation, sir. It's $200 in the name of Sidney Bernstein. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Kiss my ass? <laughs> you're getting more and more like me every day. Next <laughs> thing you know, you're going to have afros. Just <laughs> big dicks and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Axel. No. You make Chief Police yet or what? That's right. I want you to know how thankful we are that you allowed Foley the time to help us with this case. Well, according to him, he's acquired all his skills under your expert tutelage. Hi! What the fuck have you been telling him? <laughs> let me talk. When you're done, oh, let me no. Talk. <gasps> what did he do? Even now. In fact, my ass left already. Your secret undercover partner, Mario Andretti Friedman, wrecked the goddamn Ferrari. Hey, here, here, you talk to Jerry. Jeffrey! What, it wasn't even my fault. That's the funny thing. There was a bus coming the other way. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down to Mexico and catch another Marlin. Go back to Detroit for some good old-fashioned American street violence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know a lot of girls that like to hang out with you. Maureen came back. <gasps> what? The man is a stud. We ain't even know it. All this time, swinging. We ain't even know it. Nah, her mother didn't have cable TV. <laughs> I'm off. Thanks a lot, Axel. You don't gotta thank me. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah! Oh, what? those are the new homeowners? Oh no! <laughs> it's not really your uncle's house, is it? Oh yeah! Trust me. Alright, what the hell is going on here? Who are you guys? Yeah. Huh? Be <laughs> nice. There it is. That was good. That is a wrap on Beverly Hills Cop 2. Another. A, a movie of good fun yeah. and laughs. Good laughs. <laughs> and unexpected character development with Billy. I love how he just started, like, kind of just... Oh, it's the same guy as, you know, from the previous film. But, like, they slowly ramped up his, like, craziness. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like it was always there. But we we just started seeing more and more of it over time. Yeah. First it's, it was the Yeah, plants. like you said, it was, like, it was unlocked in him in the first movie. Right. And now he's just this crazy man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, of course, it was great to see the boys working together. Yeah. The trio. And, of course, to help out their uh, their chief. Right. Yeah, they, the three of those guys, they all have really good chemistry mm -hmm. on the screen. and Yeah, uh, they each have kind of their own unique right. role. That, and they all work really well together. Mm -hmm. so. There were, were some crazy stunts. Stunts. So much destruction. Destruction. Jeez, I don't know how they didn't get in more trouble for all of that. The cement truck. But I guess they didn't even know that it was them in the yeah, cement truck. Yeah, so. Yeah. Love the vibes in this one, the 80s vibe, the music. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching our reaction of Beverly Hills Cop 2. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.